I've been listening in on old Charlie. And he isn't such a bad fellow. He's more of a kinder, gentler redneck. And as luck would have it, his wife is expecting. Man in that situation usually doesn't care who he works for, as long as he's still above ground. <laughs> Poor sap starts blubbering when the two of them talk about names. Right now, it's between Bocephus and Thomas Lee. Anyway, his guys have the church locked down, and all of them are more of the shoot-first-let-God-sort-them-out variety of redneck. You get your hands on Charlie, though. He'll do what he's told without putting up much of a fuss. All your intel's been updated. You going back to the motel? After I get something to eat. I'll see you when you're done dealing with these inbred assholes. What do you think George will do if he finds out all our dealers are getting hit? He'll kill Richie for sure. Hey, buddy. Probably Charlie and Merle, too. Settle on a name yet? Let's think about Thomas Lee after my old man. Hmm, that's got a nice ring to it. This shit with us getting hit doesn't get settled. My boy might wind up being named something else. No, it won't come to that. The boys will take care of it. You'll see. You can die with these Dixie assholes, or work for me and live. Okay, sure thing. Whatever you want. My crew will be in touch.
Send your men to the First Baptist Church. Those Dixie heathens have been handled. I'll have some of my men come right over. And thanks. your name for the record? Donovan. John. Mr. Donovan, you understand that by appearing before this committee, you have explicitly waived your constitutional rights in regards to counsel and self-incrimination. Sure. And you further acknowledge that by appearing before this committee, you agree to disclose all information pertaining to the events that occurred in New Bordeaux during the summer and fall of 1968. <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here if I didn't. You were an operative in the Central Intelligence Agency from 1953 to 1969, is that correct? That's right. When did you arrive in Vietnam? August of 1961. Please describe for this committee the actions you took during your time in Vietnam. I spent a couple months in Saigon. Then I was transferred to a base in Laos that was operated by the Special Activities Division. We trained and equipped the Hmong and then turned them loose on the NVA. We're running arms and supplies via the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And you worked with Lincoln Clay in what eventually became the Phoenix Program. Within a year or so, Lincoln was heading up his own PRU. We'd cross over into Vietnam and locate enemy targets and either kill them or bring them back for interrogation. <laughs> Just thinking about it? Jesus Christ. You wouldn't believe the shit we did to those cocksuckers. I think behind something. I see him. I hurt him. You wasted your life, Bata. Oh. God ain't forgetting what those motherfuckers did to this place, Mr. Clay. I won't teaser. This man's name is Jesse. We were just having ourselves a little conversation about Richie Doucet. Listen, I ain't done nothing, you hear? I don't know anything. I, I was just taking a walk and walking down the street and, and she scrammed me, is all. You with Dixie Mafia? No. Yes. I mean, shit. I did it for the money, you hear? I, I ain't got nothing personal against y'all. I don't even carry a gun. Where's Doucet? He's. He's out at the abandoned amusement park to the west of here. Ban Saturdays? What the hell is he doing out there? From what I heard, it's because you've been tearing things up. And Georgie, Georgie's on a goddamn warpath. He wants Richie dead. So Richie, he grabbed what was left of the heroin and took off. Said he was gonna lay low until he could settle things with Georgie. How many men he got with him? Hell, I don't know. All of them. Hand me that knife. No, no, please. No, I ain't done nothing to y'all. Please, I, I'm begging you. My mama, my papa, shit. Go on, get. He could warn Doucet. He ain't no threat to nobody. Let him run back home to his mama. If you wrong, there'll be hell to pay.
Could use some supplies. Heard you were the man to talk to. Cassandra said you might be calling. I'm happy to help, I think it's but I ain't running right? no charity either. Everything you see is for sale. Let me see what you got. Hope you're happy with that. See you later. Bad sense about this, man. Richie needs to work this shit out with Georgie. Well, he ain't got no fucking chores. Cause if he don't, we fuck like your mama on prom night. For sure, man. For sure. Well, better get back to it before Bobby starts hollering again. You're here somewhere. I know it. Huh? Welcome to Paris. 
Saturday's Fun Park. What? We're sure happy to have you with us today. So put your troubles aside and enjoy yourself. You never know what that dirty old Baron's got waiting for you. Back on the corner. Somewhere, I know it. George's ball.
You tough one. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Holy. See if he's still in the bone rattler. Push it to I see him!
ammo. Moving over here. Fuck it!